Hello hackers, I'm excited. Today I'm gonna to pick up from yesterday's email from Jeff and talk a little bit about the ways that we can use a bash bunny to securely move crypto files from air-gapped machines to non-air-gapped machines in ways that are not vulnerable to bad USB and other sorts of attacks. This is kind of cool. So Jeff writes, I worked out something with the bash bunny. I wanted a way to transfer files from my air-gapped PKI machine, his crypto box, to my other machines. And I was gonna just get a USB drive, but then bad USB. So what he means here is Jeff is concerned about the microcontrollers that are on most of these little USB drives that may be vulnerable to an attack that puts malware on them. So I looked at iron keys, only to find that they all use the same AES key, which is sniffable, plus they're god-awful expensive. If only I could find a manufacturer who made their own USB controllers read-only. Then I thought, Bash Bunny. I could have switch position two be read-only, position three be read-write. Now I just have to work out how to get the attack code to mount the storage that way, and I have a relatively cheap way to securely move files that's immune to bad USB. Way too busy in real life right now, but it seems pretty easy to do and a complete different application for the Bash Bunny, so I thought I'd pass it along. That is a really cool application, especially when you consider the fact that this is a full Linux box under the hood. So yeah, you have the potential to use it to vary files if you want, but you could also do cool crypto stuff right on board. I don't know if you want to put your private key on here. I would, as long as you keep it in your control. Maybe you could even have like a self-destruct button. I don't know, there's so much cool possibility here, but let me break it down. Essentially, Jeff wants a way to move files onto the Bash Bunny and be able to change it from read to read write. Sort of like the way that you have on your common SD cards where there's a little switch on the side and you can just go boop and it goes read only. Now, the Bash Bunny is a good solution because it doesn't actually have a silicon microcontroller for storage in the way that your traditional USB drive does. It's actually all done in emulation and software. Essentially, Jeff wants a way to securely move the encrypted files from his main machine that is connected to the internet to an air-gapped machine like this, a crypto box, if you will. This is mine. It's a EPC-701. It's not very fast, nor does it need to be. What's important here is that this machine never touches the internet, never touches any network, and if I want to get files to it, well, it brings up the same problem. I'm assuming he's using PGP or GPG or something similar. We've talked about this on the show numerous times. The only problem with a setup like this is that you can't connect it to the internet, which means that you're forced to use like a disk, like this one here that I have in an evidence bag. But unfortunately, while this disk can become read, write, and read only by putting a notch or putting a piece of tape over this notch, um, it's not very viable because it doesn't hold that much storage and for some reason it won't fit in the, in the EPC, you would think. So today I'm going to show you a dead simple way to achieve this using a Bash Bunny for your sneaker netting crypto goodness. Let's take a look. Now I've gone ahead and set up a brand new Bash Bunny and here on the documentation page I've uh, downloaded the latest firmware version 1.5. If you take a look at the change log, you'll see that we added RO underscore storage in version 1.2 and what that does is it allows you to do read only storage. So let's set that up here on um, my Mac. I've got my Bash Bunny and we have in a very default configuration two default payloads. Let's take a look at the payload in switch one. Essentially, all this guy is gonna do is say LED B for blue and slow for slowly blink blue, and then it's gonna set the attack mode to serial and storage. That's kind of the default, the same thing you would find in arming mode, which we're in right now. So all I'm gonna do on this one in uh, switch position one is I'm just gonna take out the serial. I don't wanna open up any attack vectors there. So I'm only going to expose a read-write storage partition, and let's go ahead and change the color to magenta, because magenta is fun. M, I'm gonna save that. And now let's go ahead to switch position two. Literally just gonna take out serial and append RO underscore to storage. So now it's read only storage and we'll change that to Y for yellow because why not? Save that and we're just gonna go ahead and safely eject this. Now unplug my bash bunny. I'm gonna switch it over to switch position two, which was our read only. And look at that guy right back in. All right, the LED is yellow. And now here on my Mac, I have a Bash Bunny. And if I go to File, you'll see that I cannot do a new folder. I can't copy anything over. Let me open up some other folder here. And yeah, all right, I've got a Bunny Connect to SH. Let me try to drag that over. Nope, it's just not gonna go because it's read only. Safely eject, flip it over to switch position one. Plug that guy in and now I've got magenta blinking. 
And just as before the Bash Bunny shows up, this time if I go to File, you'll see I can do New Folder, I can call it whatever I want, and if I want I can copy those files over like this bunnyconnect.sh, no problem. Eject just like before, there you go. Anyway, that's the extent of it, but as you can see, we can build on this so much more, especially if you have a payload that's actually watching for files to be present, and if they're a certain type, like a encrypted volume or whatever have you, it could use the keys on board to decrypt them and do other stuff. There's all sorts of awesome potential there. I want to hear what your thoughts are on the matter. In fact, I also want to hear your thoughts on crypto setups like these. I love the concept of using a air-gapped machine for your PKI. It just makes so much sense to me. Um, but I would love to hear what kind of setups you guys use, so let me know in the comments below. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do a get loot giveaway, so uh, I will randomly pick my favorite comment regarding crypto, and uh, you'll find the full rules at hack5.org slash contest, but I'll send you a copy of get loot. Anyway, with all that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'll see you guys soon. Trust your technolust. Domain.com has all of your website needs, from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools and even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you use coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.